Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The MIM-104 Patriot is a surface-to-air missile system that had a difficult introduction into military life, but after refinement became an effective air defense weapon capable of protecting armies from ballistic missiles. Now, armies around the world use the Patriot as a key weapon in their arsenal to defend from surface-to-surface -surface missiles. And in this video, we're going to take a look at why this is the case. Let's explore the MIM-104 Patriot and its many variations. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. Development of the Patriot started in the early 60s. It was a long road before it would take a starting role in the 1991 Gulf War with the world's eyes watching in real time. The intention was that the system would replace the Nike Hercules and Hawk air defense units used previously. The main contractor behind the build of the system was the aerospace and defense company Raytheon, based in Virginia and the missile itself was developed by building material specialists Martin Marietta. After development, tests began on this air defense system between 1969 and 1970. In 1975, as part of testing, the unit successfully managed to down a drone above the storied White Sands missile range. The first version of the system used a MIM-104A missile, which had a range of about 62 miles 100 kilometers. This version actually had no capabilities against ballistic missiles and was used exclusively as an anti-aircraft weapon. After several evolutions of the system, it was eventually named Patriot, standing for Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target, and the U.S. Army adopted it into their arsenal in the early 80s with deployment beginning in 1984. Eventually, the capacity to intercept anti-ballistic missiles was introduced in the late 1980s when the Patriot received its first major upgrade. This was just in time for the system to be fully put through its paces in the early 90s Iraq War. The original primary use for this conflict was to defend Israeli and Saudi Arabian troops from oncoming Iraqi scuds. Early reports suggested a success ratio of 100% which put the Patriot in the headlines, but it became clear that this was a lot lower than originally thought, and in fact, it was seen as closer to 40%. This prompted the improvements that would see many updates to the system. In fact, there's still a debate as to the effectiveness of the weapon in the Gulf War. The Patriot's designers argued that the system was very effective, but this was countered by an almost year-long investigation in 1992 by a House Government Operations Subcommittee, which said there was minimal evidence that the Patriot downed any more than a few Iraqi missiles. Another investigation done in the same year by the General Accounting Office was even more damning and found a less than 10% hit rate. It appeared as though debris was being counted as direct hits, and the impressive television footage looked a lot more flattering than the real accuracy of the launcher. Since then, the system has been upgraded significantly, so much so that it has been purchased by the armies in Taiwan, Egypt, Germany, Greece, Israel, Japan, Kuwait, the Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Spain, and Poland. South Korea also bought many second-hand Patriot systems in response to North Korea launching ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan, as well as their nuclear testing seen in 2006. As far as more recent purchases are concerned, as of December 2020, Morocco was confirmed as a buyer. And as part of the $40 billion package to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia, Patriot air defense systems were delivered. Towards the end of 2022, Poland announced after pushing the weaponry earlier in the year that they were ready to integrate the Patriot MIM-104 Pac-3 into its army. But what makes this unit so popular? It uses a state-of-the-art aerial interceptor missile and very high-performing radar systems. Another advantage is that the MIM-104 is modular and highly mobile meaning that it can be deployed in a variety of locations. 
Add to this the fact that a battery-sized element can be replaced in less than one hour makes the weaponry very appealing to militaries regardless of location. Other key perks of the system are a very short response time, the ability to engage multiple targets at the same time, as well as the resistance to electronic jamming. The system uses a 5.3 meters (17.4 foot) length missile powered by a single-stage solid propellant rocket motor at speeds of 2,284 miles per hour (3,675 kilometers per hour). The weight of the missile is 2,200 pounds (1,000 kilograms), and its range is an impressive 43 miles (69 kilometers). In terms of detonation. It has a 200-pound high-explosive warhead, which uses a proximity fuse. This causes shrapnel to destroy the intended target. Each system has eight containers that serve as launchers, known as M901, and each of these launchers contains four missiles, which gives the system 32 missiles to be utilized in total. These launchers are then linked to the M860 trailer for transportation. Added to this system is the MSQ-104, which is an engagement control station. This is mounted on an M818 tractor. At the center of the whole system is the TVM guidance system, which stands for Track Via Missile. In terms of the operation itself, the way in which the system works is a three-stage process built around a phased array radar and fast computers. Firstly, the guidance system navigates the unit at the target as it's tracked by a radar beam. After this, the computer points the missile itself to its target. Finally, the missile becomes semi-active while its internal radar receiver sends it to the point of interception and neutralizing the target. The Patriot battery unit is just a basic element of a larger element. This will usually include a command post, radar, eight launchers, and support vehicles. The system is able to engage anything up to eight targets at the same time, and if needed, it can operate with up to an impressive 16 launchers. These launchers had the range to be stationed up to one kilometer from the radar or other vehicles needed to operate the launcher. Batteries are usually placed between 18 to 24 miles, 30 to 40 kilometers, away from each other. And this is to establish effective and overlapping defenses. A range of 68 to 80 miles, 110 to 130 kilometers, is capable from the radar. Other ranges include missiles at 52 to 62 miles, 85 to 100 kilometers, and the warhead of the missile at 37 to 43 miles, 60 to 70 kilometers. Most of the launchers, as well as the radar unit, are also completely unmanned, excluding the battery command post. Instead of controlling the system from the launcher itself, the Patriot can receive instructions from command posts or early warning aircraft, including an E-3 Sentry. The main variants of the Patriot include the MIM-104B Pac-1, which was introduced to counter the long-range ECM threat in the late 80s. Following this came the MIM-104C Pac-2, which was fielded for Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm in the Gulf War to counter the advanced tactical ballistic missile threat. After this, saw the MIM-104D Pac-2 GEM. GEM stands for Guidance Enhanced Missile and represented an improved Pac-2 missile. A low noise front end and improved fuse were significant improvements for this iteration. The MIM-104F Pac-3 provides defense against tactical ballistic missiles, advanced cruise missiles, and other threats. There are 16 Pac-3 missiles for each Patriot launcher, as well as eight launchers for each Patriot battery. The Patriot MSE, or Missile Segment Enhancement, is an upgrade to the Pac-3 missile. The improvements make sure this missile is able to cope with evolving threats, which include the tactical ballistic missiles, potentially carrying weapons of mass destruction, new cruise missiles, and aircraft. The MIM-104 Patriot is an excellent example of how military technology can be upgraded to produce one of the essential defensive weapons in any country's arsenal. The new versions of the Patriot built upon decades of history that started in the 60s, served a starring, if not successful, role in the early 90s, 
and now present an attractive offering to all the military powers across the world that have adopted the tech to protect their respective nations. Now the Patriot is at the forefront of anti-missile systems and an essential weapon to counter today's modern threats. There's no doubt that further improvements will be made to the Patriot to keep it in its position of a top-of-the-range yet affordable defense weapon. What are your thoughts on the Patriot? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.